Well, Beyond Fest is like the perfect place to premiere this, right? It's our crowd, this is our people. And uh, particularly to be here tonight means that we finally finished this movie, which we've been working on for quite some time. So it's very exciting. And there won't be a lot of opportunities to see it in the theater, to see it with a crowd. I've been making films with this director since we were kids in college. So for me, it's, it's a special night to, to bring this home with him. Typically when we make a movie, there's no movie, and then there's a movie. So it doesn't come with a lot of expectations and a lot of uh, ideas and, and uh, things about what people want it to be. So it was a lot to contend with trying to reboot something like Hellraiser. And um, we hope that everybody enjoys it and we did it justice. We had so much to draw from for inspiration, and I think that um, you know, that really shows in, in what, we, what we brought to the film. Very excited to be premiering Hellraiser. Um, you know, it's an honor to be at Beyond Fest, first of all, because I'm a huge horror, you know, science fiction geek. I think I saw the first Hellraiser film when I was a senior in high school. I was a big Clyde Barker fan, and I was blown away by the darkness and the inventiveness and how he kind of single-handedly created a, an entirely new horror genre. Beyond Fest is uh, the way we find all the great genre stuff in LA. So this is, uh, this is where we hoped to premiere here in Los Angeles, and uh, uh, it's the perfect time for us. So we open in a few days, and this is an audience that understands Hellraiser, and hopefully understands what we're trying to do with it. So we're excited. I'm a big Hellraiser fan, and uh, it's it's a deep honor to work inside the Hellraiser franchise and to uh, get to play in the world that Clive Barker created. Um, and uh, you, you know, you try to find the balance between uh, paying homage to what came before, but also letting your passions run wild and uh, allowing for some level of reinvention. So I think I speak for all the artists on our team that we just went crazy with this. We lost our minds. Well, it's uh, pure Hellraiser concentrate, first and foremost. Uh, but this is a new tale in the world of Hellraiser. And uh, it explores some new mythology with the box, that, uh, with the puzzle box, the lament configuration that maybe wasn't covered in the earlier films. So we think of it as an extension of some of the conversation of the other films. And, uh, and hopefully it's an introduction to the world of Hellraiser. But we follow the character of Riley, who is a young woman struggling with addiction, comes in contact with the box. She can't resist temptation no matter what form it takes and uh, plays with the puzzle box and opens a door that uh, is probably better left closed. I'm very excited. It feels like kind of nuts that it's almost like a year ago today that we were filming this. So it's very exciting to be here and like seeing everybody over on the state side because we did this all in Serbia. So it's really awesome. It was an amazing time getting to work on this franchise. I feel like there's obviously so much weight that comes with doing like previous IP, but um, getting sort of the blessing of Clive Barker and then knowing that Bruckner like really had a vision, it was like a, it was a really great time and it took the pressure off. I am most excited for audiences to see the the effects, the special effects and like the practical effects. I think what's kind of rare is that you get sort of so much practical effects in the Cenobites, the way that they glistened on set and then getting to see them on a screen I think is going to be very exciting for people. I'm so excited. This is great. I mean, you know, we were filming in Belgrade, Serbia about a year ago, and now I'm getting to see a lot of old faces, so this is, this is really cool. It was very, very daunting to be kind of a part of this franchise. Um, I think all of us were really, you know, nervous and excited, but I think it, I think it brought a lot of, everybody I think hopefully brought their A game. Uh, you know, the pressure was, was definitely real. So, um, yeah, very humble. I'm very humble to be a part of it.
It's such an honor. I mean, I never thought that I would book the part, so it was like the most fun I've ever had taping an audition. And then I got it, and then I did not know what kind of a roller coaster ride I was in for. But I'm so, so happy that I got on it and that we did it. I hope that when audiences follow along with Riley in the film, I mean, I, I really resonated with the the idea that our the choices we make are so much bigger than just us, like the consequences of those. So I don't know. I think it, I'm curious to, to hear what the fans think of her journey and the choices she ends up making in the film and how they not only affect her, but everyone around her. It is so exciting to be here at Beyond Fest and to be a part of a film like Hellraiser. It's something that I literally, ah, can't get emotional, that I like, ah, that I, I like. It's a dream. It's so cool. I, I wanted to be like a scary monster and something so good, and it's, I'm really excited to see it because it looks really good. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to happen, but I'm, I'm very grateful. What is it like to be a part of the retelling of this film? It's incredible because there's 35 years of such a massive global fan base, which is really weird to be so close to that. And to play a character like Chatterer, who people have loved since I, it came out, I was two months old. People have loved that character since before I can remember. So to get to bring that character to life, there's a responsibility to, to, to that and, and a weight to that that I felt. Um, but it, there's such a joy and such a blessing and such a gratitude. Like, what? I get to jump into a character, and it's been cool to see people's reactions that he's back, and they, everybody loves the new redesign, and which is just weird. It's very surreal. It's very surreal. So to be a part of something that um, is being received so well so far, um, it's awesome. It's awesome. I'm very grateful. And I, I hope if anyone's out there is watching, like, saying, I want to be a part of something like that one day, if you knew my story, dude, if this nerd can do it, like, you can do it. It felt really crazy while filming it, being a part of it, um, and being able to be with the Cenobites that close and personal. It feels surreal. It's, it's, yeah, it's crazy. I'm excited for them to see the Cenobites. That's what I'm mainly excited for. And Pinhead, of course. I mean, it's Pinhead. And the Chatterer. All of them. I mean, they were all amazing to work with and watch work. So, yeah, I'm excited for them to see that. I think it's the Cenobites. I mean, they're the star of the show. They're so beautifully grotesque. Um, and I think there's something so special about that. And I think that we did an incredible job. Like, we had such an amazing crew of rebooting this and reimagining this in a way that is disturbingly beautiful. Like, you want to look at it, but you don't, if you know what I mean. I feel like the main theme of this film is... It's basically, it's a film that everyone can relate to. Like, similar to Jaws, everyone goes swimming and there's that terror of, ugh. In this film, everyone has their weak spot. Everyone has something. And it's the Cenobites that prey upon that. And it's not them that's actually good or bad. It's actually humanity that have the decision to make, like what choice they take. So I feel like that's a huge theme of the movie. Yeah. Just, just society, just people, humanity in general. This is um, my first big major film. So as a newbie in the industry, I, I don't know what to expect, but I'm really happy and excited to be here. I'm a very focused person, so I think just going into it, not overwhelming myself, it's a new experience, but just being like, it's okay, this is, this is going to be awesome, this is going to be fun, and that's the energy that I've come in with this. 
I think they're going to feel every form of emotion from, you know, the excitement of this is Hellraiser and everything that made Hellraiser great initially from all the practical um, stuff and just, you know, the horror, the, the surprises, the the special effects, like, I think people are going to be blown away by this, so I'm excited for people to see it.